We're gonna be making apple pie. We have the 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 um the things that they are in the freezer right now. Yeah, they have to cool for at least one hour. The, um, the recipe is right here. Pause the video if you want to read the full thing. Okay. My mom is peeling the apples. Hmm. And and I have to cut these into, into thin strips like this. So, yeah, first you have to make that, but then I want. I, but then you have to cut some butter into like tiny pieces. You, I can't show you it, but it's like a centimeter width and height. So you have to cut the apples like these. I I don't recommend to use a knife like this. I just find it hard to cut knives to cut apples with these kind of knives. So so yeah, my mom is peeling the apples. I'm finishing cutting this, and um, I'll go, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish this this part when they're done after sitting after for an hour okay guys bye okay guys we finished cutting the apples now i think we're gonna melt a stick of butter inside a pan um make sure yours is um at high because it melts it a little bit more faster and medium is just gonna take like a a pretty a pretty it's gonna take like a little bit more time and low is just gonna not do anything to the butter so you basically so just so i'm just gonna record me sticking the butter into the pan once the but once the butter is melting you want to add three three teaspoons of all-purpose flour and, and then we want to uh, like i think mix it up guys i want to let it set for like a minute and just mix it up and let that butter and let that butter um just like melt. You want to get one one fourth cup of water and just slowly pour it in here. Slowly, slowly, not that fast, guys. Can not maybe that? That's there be enough. You want to bring it to a normal broil, and you just want to let it and you just want to like mix it for about three minutes. Three minutes straight. Put one full cup of sugar in there. Just want to pour it in. Meanwhile, the person is mixing. And it should be that consistency. Okay, then you want to add one TSP or one tablespoon, something like that. And you want to add one and yeah, one and a half. Hey. And then you want to mix it. Wow. And you just want to mix it. If you want to do it faster, just mix with a glove. But you just want to make it so like all the apples have the same consistency of um like cinnamon on them. And make sure you don't forget you don't forget to dig all the way to the bottom because sometimes they have there's some apples at the very bottom that you don't get see like there's a lot of weight down there look like the same on each one i've been mixing it for like five minutes straight and you see how like looks the same on each on each um bit of the plate of apples if you want it if you want to dry it even quicker take it out of that hot pan because that's that pan was just hot all the time and this is cool, so that, yeah. Okay, guys, so, so, um, the thing is then after, but we're not going to put it in right now, but when it's cooled down, I'm going to put that inside of that so we can make our creamy, flaky consistency inside the apples. But let's check on, okay, I don't know, but I think they've gotten a little bit bigger, I think. And we're checking on the time. Yeah, that's just how you want it to look. I just did that for fun. You want to check the temperature of that 
of this cream, like cream texture, you just you just want to touch it. You don't want to dip your finger because it can be boiling hot. Only 19 minutes. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna check. Yeah, it should not be that hard. It should be pretty soft because we're gonna make these into the pie crusts next. Yeah. Uh, no, not next, but maybe later. Yeah, later. Okay, so we're just going to put these to rest a little bit. And we're just going to cut it. I'm going to make some strips and decorate these. How the, the way I just did it was what I put one of my fingers here, and I just pinched it like that. So, yeah, you guys are going to want to make that and you're gonna want want to make eggs and water and just like paint it on top and here you go we're gonna we're gonna put it in the oven okay guys now we're gonna make little pies but made out of cupcakes molds okay so we put a little i put a little bit of oil and when my mom was making the stuff the stuff to put in like each crust so she, yeah she's just adding that make it even Okay, so these are the little cupcake pies. You can, it's just like a normal pie, except I don't think there's gonna be enough for this. So yeah, I just made it like a little bit. We're gonna make something with the apple. I'm sure guys are not gonna be able to see it. So yeah, guys, bye. I'm gonna pour the thing now that it's cooled down for five, five to 10 minutes. <laughs> it looks like gel. Okay, guys, now we're gonna mix it. You just wanna mix it and almost like get get at least the gel to touch every single apple. Like those, you gotta touch those. We separated some apples cause it might be a little too much for just a little tiny bit of gel. Yay! It looks good. It looks like I just wanted to like tap in I don't know why, but this reminds me of cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Let's pour on some flour, and we just want to like spread it across where we're going to put. It. Okay, guys. So you're just gonna want to like place it here. You're gonna grab your rolly thing and just roll it out. Just want to. It wasn't super. Uh, it wasn't like that sweet. So if you added a, t a tiny pinch of sugar. I have hiccups just from looking at this. Okay. okay, guys, I'm taking these. Guys, I'm taking these out because it's only gonna be like five minutes, and why waste that time? And they're and plus they're getting a little hard. See, and we don't want them to get too hard. Guys, guys, look, I made a snowman. But you don't want to end the truck, so make sure you separate them. Make sure you separate them out of all the things that you're gonna do with these two little balls. Don't put them together. No matter what you do, don't put them together. Like make it in a form of a, like a pie crust. That's like the size of your pan. Just keep rolling, keep rolling. And you wanna put flour on. Do not just put it on without the flour. Unless you want your entire thing to stick. You might want to put a little bit of flour on the dough because it sticks on the rolling pin. And you want to make it even, even on each side. Not just, not just, not just. I'm living like a visual. Yes, that's good. Okay. Now we're just gonna go and we're just gonna put it up okay then we're just pressing on even size so the size that are like up and you want to like cut them you can use like a like a pizza cutter to just like get some more and put it against yeah, the edges. Mm -hmm. 
exactly. So you can make it better, and your pizza's not, and your pie isn't Aaron. just. Yeah. Not fair. I don't really have enough. So it should be very um, some flat. What's this piece? Just flour. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna want to put that thing. That nice thing that you put that you inside that inside. And your apple slices. And don't forget that creamy gooeyness at the end. That's almost like the best part. Except the apples, of course, but don't forget that. That sweetness, that nice nice niceness. I didn't take I didn't take all like the creaminess outside because I'm gonna make a mini one later in this video. And just spread it out so it's not like on top. It should look something like this. But if you're looks your, your looks weird weird, just just dip a finger in, try it out. If it tastes good, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter about the looks. Like make it in a form of a, like a pie crust. That's like the size of your pan. Just keep rolling, keep rolling. And you wanna put flour on. Do not just put it on without the flour. Unless you want your entire thing to stick. You might wanna put a little bit of flour on the dough because it sticks on the rolling pan. And you wanna make it even, even on each side. Not just with notches, not just I'm living like a visual. Yes, that's good. Okay. Now we're just gonna go and we're just gonna put it up. Okay, then we're just pressing on even size. Así. Y lo que falta lo metemos en lo que sobra, ¿verdad? Y hasta dónde lo va a cortar? So the sides that are like up and you want to like cut them, you can use like a like a pizza cutter to just like get some more and put it against the edges. So you can make it better and your pizza's not and your pie isn't Aaron. just yeah. So it should be very um, um, flat. What's this piece? Just flour. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna want to put that thing, that nice thing that you put that you inside that inside. In your apple slices. And don't forget that creamy gooeyness at the end. That's almost like the best part. Except the apples, of course, but don't forget that. That sweetness, that nice, nice niceness. I didn't take I didn't take all like the creaminess outside because I'm gonna make a mini one later in this video. And just spread it out so it's not like on top should look something like this but if you're looks your, your looks weird weird just just dip a finger in try it out if it tastes good that's all that matters it doesn't matter about the looks